The situation in San Bernardino is still unfolding tonight, but this mass shooting is the 355th to happen this year, surpassing all of last year. President Obama spoke today saying there are steps we can take to improve the odds that these shootings don't happen as frequently, common sense gun safety laws, and it is the first topic in tonight's Point Counterpoint. We are joined by Democrat Ed Espinoza, Executive Director of Progress Texas, and Republican strategist Mac Makoviak, President of Potomac Strategy Group. Gentlemen, thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. Thanks. Sure. Can both sides find common ground on gun control to keep these incidents from happening, Ed? But it's been really hard to do that in Congress over the past few years. When the assault weapons ban was in place from 1994 to 2004, it made it harder for people to get these types of long gun ammunition rifles that uh, are basically made to hunt people. And since that uh, uh, ban has expired, we've seen more of these mass shootings happen. There are things we need to do and there are serious conversations we need to have, but until we can have those conversations and take real action, unfortunately, we're going to see these things continue to happen. And the, the myth of a good guy with a gun stops a bad guy with a gun just doesn't exist, doesn't work. Matt, I, I know it's interesting because the president did mention stricter background checks, but a lot of people would argue that the background checks are really not going to, to help this whole process, that that's not the problem here. What do you say? Yeah, you've had at least two instances in the past six months where, where mass shooters pass background <coughs> checks but shouldn't have because of human error. So we need to improve that process. But the problem with background checks is until you've committed a crime, you pass a background check. So look, I think the area where there's bipartisan agreement is on mental health reform. That's why you saw a Republican senator and a Democratic senator offer bipartisan legislation a month ago, dealing with HIPAA laws as it relates to family members, dealing with it, uh, putting an assistant secretary in place that oversees mental health. Uh, dealing with education, dealing with psychiatric beds. I think that's an area where you're going to have bipartisan agreement. You may see some movement this fall. But this is a complex problem. And when you have three shooters act in a conspiracy by going into a place like this in California that's a soft target, it's very hard to know what you can do. If you're willing to kill five or 10 or 12 people, you're probably willing to violate uh, existing gun laws to get a gun illegally. Right, and, that, and that's actually part of the problem is that you can't change the motive, but what you can change is the access. And if there were three people who were conspiring, mental illness might not be part of their problem. They have larger problems, but what we can do is limit their ability to get those types of assault weapons. And as far as background checks go, there are loopholes. People who sell guns at gun shows. Not all gun shows. Sell, private sell, sales, private sales. Fine, no. private sales, okay? That's the thing. But for 40% of guns using crimes are guns that are obtained without a background check. That's an issue. I don't think that's right. Well, I, look up the stats. But I'll, be, I'll, tell I'll be glad what. to see the stats. The problem, Ed, is that everything that's been proposed would not have prevented what happened in, in Charleston, may or may not have prevented what happened today. That's the problem is that you see the left go with the knee jerk to try to go after the NRA rather than try to try to put solutions forward that would prevent these specific types of mass shootings. So isn't this is true, Ed? I mean, isn't it possible that, I mean, these people who want to get these guns are going to get them no matter what you put in place? Not if you, make, not if you make them harder to get. That's the thing is that we say, you say that the left is trying to push these things. The right doesn't want to do anything. They just say it's not going to work. Well, with all these plans, you had this fake crisis around Syrian refugees a week ago, and suddenly there were all these things, these, these uh, bills proposed to say it wouldn't hurt to at least try to make the process harder. Well, what if we applied that same thinking to guns? Wouldn't it hurt to at least try to make the process harder? But the right wing and the NRA don't even want to touch it. Seems That's, kind of logical, Matt. What well, do you the, say? The, the problem is there's 300 million guns in the United States of America, so until you do something about that population of guns, which honestly would require gun confiscation. Liberals say that it wouldn't, but if you make guns harder to get, but there's already 300 million of them, that's a problem. Look, I well, think we, we should just have... shouldn't do anything, right? No, no, I, I didn't say that. I said we should do mental health reform. You said nothing about that. Well, yeah, I did say that. I said it's not the problem here. The people who conspired, not me we don't know that's a mental health issue. Not everybody who takes on, uh, who, who can, commits these crimes is somebody who has a mental health problem. What do you do about the rest of those people? As what do you do yeah. at a mental health facility like the one today, where there, if you have armed people there, if you don't want guns near people who have mental health issues, then why, how would you have a gun inside of a mental health facility protecting people like you had today? You could have it, a, Ed, come on, you could have a security officer that's been trained, right, that has a concealed carry hand, you know, weapon. Listen, if we took school security as seriously as we took plane security after 9-11, you wouldn't have school shootings. If you had one entrance at a school and you had metal detectors and you had people armed that were there to protect students, children, you wouldn't have the kind of shootings we've had. Look, Gentlemen, I think we can have a targeted have to, approach. We're going to have to leave it there. We'll obviously continue the conversation in the coming days. Appreciate you being here. Thank you. Thanks.